You want your application to be available from anywhere in the world, but perhaps not to everyone in the world. And that's where authentication and authorization come into play. Luckily, implementing authentication and authorization in Shiny is easy. There are various tools available to help you achieve that. And today, in this video, we're going to talk about one of those tools, namely Alt0. So let's jump straight into it and see how we implement Alt0 in Shiny. First of all, you're going to create an account at Alt0. Simply sign up and provide all the details like an email address, the country that you're in, and obviously you would need to generate a password. After you've finished with that, you need to answer some questions like if you are responsible for coding and if you would need the advanced settings. Then you need to create your tenant domain, give it a nice name and choose the region where you want to be in. Then create the account and the tenant will get set up for you. If you have done that, you can start creating an application. Create an application and give it a nice name. Then choose an application type. We choose regular web application here for a shiny app. Click on create. And then you are being asked what the technology is that you are using for your project. R isn't there, so we skip that. Once your application is created, you can inspect it and can see the things like the domain, the client ID and the secrets. What we need to do first is we need to add callback URLs, logout URLs and origin URLs. We have two URLs here, localhost with port 8080 and a URL that you could potentially use if you want to have your application hosted on ShinyApps.io. Don't forget to change the application name. In these three fields, we add all of these callback URLs and once we're done, we're clicking save. Then we can inspect our web application and all the other apps that we have generated. We see here the Hangman app is now generated with a specific client ID. The next thing that we need to do is to create some users. Go to user management and add a user here with an email address and their password. Click on create and your user will be generated. What you can do then is you can edit the name of the user, I'm using my own name here, and save it like that. And that's it. That's your first user. The next thing that you might want to do is to disable sign up. Go to authentication, the database, and then go to settings. Scroll a bit down and you will see an option to disable signups, which is handy if you don't want users to create an account themselves. Once that's done, we can start with the fun stuff, customizing the login screen. We can do that in the branding section. We can add an own logo, we can change color. And in the customization options, we can go even further with fully customizing the login screen, like the fonts, but also changing the border, what the widget looks like, and even a background if we would want it. There are lots of possibilities to make it look all your own with your own custom branding. If we go to setting, we end up at the tenant setting. And in this tenant setting, you can also set a friendly company name. It's nice if you can add all kinds of capital letters and stuff like that. Don't forget to save it. Now that's being done, we can start integrating Alt0 into Shiny. And for that, we're using the Alt0 package. First, let's take a look at what this app is actually doing. This is a very simple Shiny application, a hangman game that just expects you to give some letters and um, you can guess the word if you want to. Obviously, you've seen the source code now, so you know what words are there. But this is the app we are departing from. First of all, in our R environment file, we want to add the relevant environment variables to be able to work with Alt0. Those are the Alt0 user, the Alt0 key, and the Alt0 secret. The user is your username and the domain. Don't forget to add .eu if you've chosen that location. 
The key is your client ID and the secret is your secret and you can get them all from the Alt0 dashboard. Once we've done that, we can start generating a configuration file. We do that with the function use alt0. If we execute that, a YAML file will be generated for us, which is called underscore alt0. And in that we can set a name of our application and this configuration file will use all the environment variables we have just set. The name of the application in our case is hangman. Once that's done, we need to adjust the shiny app call all at the bottom of the app.r file. And we need to replace it to one that is going to direct us to the Alt0 login screen. We can do that with the function called shiny app Alt0. And we simply replace and completely get rid of shiny app. Now, once we've done that, we need to set the shiny port to 8080 because remember, that is what we set in the callback URLs. If we don't run it on this port, you will encounter an error and the error will also say that it is not in your callback URLs. Um, and also make sure that the R environment file is loaded. Once we run the application, we end up at the Alt0 login screen and we need to provide our credentials there for the new user. If you do this for the first time, you are asked for authorization and you need to accept it. Once we've done that, we can just enter the app as we're used to. Now, in the configuration file, there's also a remote URL. This is important if you want to deploy eventually your app somewhere, for example, on ShinyApps.io. So don't forget that. Next, we would want to add a logout button. This logout button we can add in a header, which the code is here. It's a simple header with some styling. And in that header, we have a title panel and a logout button. This is from the Alt0 package. And to make sure that the header ends up correctly, we're also doing some styling in the main panel. When we save that and run the app again, we need to log in again, obviously. And once that's done, we can see that we now have a logout button. If you click on this logout button, you get what you expect and you're being logged out. So this is working all perfectly fine. Next, we want to get some user info and user metadata in our Shiny app. And we can set user metadata in the Alt0 dashboard. We have two fields, the user metadata and the app metadata. The app metadata is used for read-only access and the user metadata for read and write access. So for example, we can set a language and a role. Then we can save that. To be able to actually use this in our application, there are some other steps that we need to do. We go to actions and then to library, and we're going to add a custom Alt0 action there. So go to the custom tab, go to create action and create build from scratch. Give it a name. In this case, the name is going to be add user metadata to tokens. Give it a trigger and a runtime, which is fine as it is. Then we can create this action. Now, we end up with some JavaScript and luckily in the Alt0 documentation, there is uh, some pointers on how to actually manipulate that to add the user metadata to the tokens that are being returned by Alt0. That is this code. You need to provide a namespace and then you can simply get the JSON, that is the user metadata, um, like this. You can also do this for the app metadata if you would want to, but we're using the user metadata only here to get the language. Once that's done, we can actually test if this code is working. We can do that with the test button. And in the test, if you scroll a little bit down, you can see that there's a run button as well, and that will run the test and give you a result. The result here seems all fine, nothing strange, so we're happy with that. And then when the test successfully succeeded, we can hit the deploy button and our action is getting deployed. What we would need to do then is to add this action to our login flow. And we can do that in the action section only then under flows. Go to login 
and you see there the current login flow. You can add an action on the right. We search for a custom action and we just drag it there between the start and complete stages. Just like that. Then we can click on apply and this new flow gets saved. Now it's up to us to actually get this data into R. We can get the user info or the Alt0 info by calling the session object and then the user data. I'm going to print the user info on the console so that you can see. First, we would need to log in, obviously, to make it appear. Once we did, we can see the user metadata that we just added, namely the language along with the namespace, which in this case is English. But we can also get information like the name that we set manually to my name. This video provides all you need to implement Alt0 into Shiny. All there's left to say is good luck and happy programming.